There is affection between animals, even between different species. Let me tell you this story. Have you ever seen a horse like this? This horse not only didn't block the wolves mob, but didn't care at all, and even went to tease the wolves, not afraid in front of them. I feel scared for it. Wolves have high intelligence and can communicate through scent, barking and body movements. Many times humans hunt their prey en masse. It was winter, the grassland was white, and it was the time when food was scarce. So many animals had no food. These five wolves had not eaten for a long time. They had not found any prey all day and were very hungry. They had given up hope and were going to go back to rest. But a wild horse appeared and the wolves were happy. Since the horse was out of the pack, it was very easy to catch and kill. They secretly agreed that they must catch the horse and enjoy the delicious food. The wolves approached cautiously for fear of frightening the horse, but the horse did not care at all but walked proudly and did not run away even when it saw the wolves, as if it did not perceive the danger. The wolves were confused by the horse's perversity and they would be frightened and then catch it. The pack of wolves wondered why the horse was not afraid at all. In order not to be surprised, the wolves did not attack, but watched the horse at a short distance, waiting for a good opportunity. However, the wolves were shocked by the horse's action. The horse did not care about the wolves at all, so the wolves ran out of patience and were about to take action. They went in front of the horse and the horse felt scared. It turned out that the horse had not noticed the wolves. In the face of the wolves' siege, the horse actually provoked them, which made the wolves feel incredible. The wolves had hunted and killed many preys, but they had never seen such a bold horse. The wolf leader thought that the horse had a secret weapon, and that was why it was so arrogant. The wolves looked at the horse dully, but didn't attack because they didn't know why the horse wasn't afraid. They guessed that the horse was too confident or it had never seen a wolf before, so it had no sense of precaution. Just when the wolves were frozen collectively, they suddenly noticed that the horse was pregnant. At that time, although the wolves were hungry, they would not bully a pregnant animal. The five wolves looked at each other as if they were discussing how to solve the problem. Before long, they were ready to leave, and the horse was relieved because it could not fight against the wolves. In fact, animals also have feelings and respect their great mothers. It was hard to imagine what would have happened to this horse if it had not been pregnant. Mother's love is great, and similar things like this often happen among animals. Magansas were not common in daily life, but they were seen everywhere in foreign countries. One day, this mother Magansa and its baby were playing in the grass. The young Magansa had been active and curious about everything since it was a child, wanting to try new things. That day, the mother Magansa was resting on the grass, and the baby Magansa took the opportunity to break into someone's yard. In foreign countries, every home had a fence to prevent wild animals from accidentally breaking in. The home the young Mergansa broke into happened to have a fence, but it hadn't seen it, so it ran right in. However, the young deer got stuck. At first it struggled, but that didn't work and it never got out. The mother Mergansa was not there, what should it do? At that time, that mother Mergansa was enjoying the sunshine on the grass, and when it found that its child was not there, it was alarmed and looked for it everywhere, but it did not find it. It guessed whether its baby had gone to the human's residence, so it went to the house and found its baby there. Unfortunately, the baby Mergansa was stuck in the fence. The mother Mergansa felt very distressed when it saw it, but it was worried that the owner would come back and then it would be caught so it stayed silently with its baby. It wanted to tell it that it would go to its rescue later. That little Mergansa was no longer afraid when it saw that Mother Mergansa approaching. Even though it was trapped, it still felt at ease. It repented of its actions and stayed put. While it was repenting, a sound came from the door. 
They panicked, not knowing what to do, wondering if the owner of the house had returned. What they didn't expect was for the man to make such a warm gesture. The man had just arrived home when he heard the screams, and the little Merganser immediately became agitated when it heard the human voice, fearing that it would be hurt, so it kept struggling. However, the man did not hurt them, but brought a rescue tool. Since the man was old, he was worried that the little Merganser would be injured. The man was so experienced that he directly covered the head of the young Merganser with a blanket to prevent it from being bitten. Just as the man saved it, the Merganser immediately let out a grunt, as if praying for the man not to hurt it. When the man saved it, the Merganser did not resist. It didn't take long for the head of this Merganser to be successfully rescued. This man was really good at rescuing animals. So how would he place this little Merganser? The man did not trap the little Merganser, but let it go. The Merganser hesitated for a while and left, perhaps not knowing that this man would be so kind. Afterwards it returned to nature with its doubts. At that time, the man felt curious, and then ran forward with great strides. As he guessed, the mother Merganser had been waiting for the baby Merganser. This man not only saved the baby Merganser, but also saved its mother. We should praise this man for this approach, and thank him for his good deed.